I, yeah, I mean, the, the way that they, 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 they take advantage, not of they as in, you know, with every industry there's going to be sharks and there's going to be, you know, legit people doing the right thing. And so, if there was just a way to to weed out the, the, the sharks who prey on the, the naivete of, you know, young individuals, ones like myself and, and like others who come, you know, wide-eyed and, you know, hoping, hoping for the world that their the fingers and these people just, you know, leech onto them and suck their souls dry, you know. Yeah, obviously, without them, I think the, the industry would be much more prosperous and, you know, not have such a negative atmosphere. I've heard, I've heard about girls going to these, like, you know, oh, I, this photographer contacted me and I went to this, you know, this, like, warehouse down this alley and, you know, I knocked on the door and it was just dark inside. And you're like, what? and she's like, I just ran away. And it's like, yeah, I hope so. Do you think that the modeling industry um, can exacerbate or worsen um, certain mental health issues that definitely, people might have? Definitely, especially, I mean, I've always been a pretty lighthearted, you know, fun loving kind of guy. So I never took any of this stuff too seriously. Yeah. But, you know, there's obviously. You can only imagine of being like a 13 or 14 year old girl, you know, who's going through so many changes already and having someone with a fucking tape measure around her waist like once a week or something, like, you know, you got to do wonders to their self-esteem, you know, I can only imagine, it's got to be so difficult. It's, it's an industry that's based pretty much solely on looks, that there's a, for guys and girls who are looking for that sort of gratification, you know, like they need to be for their self-esteem or whatever, they need to be told, you know, oh, you're like, you're, you're beautiful or whatever. Those people who need that, they sort of will go to extremes and end up in situations where they shouldn't end up. The intimidating factor for, for, for me even, just going to some of these castings and then you're just around like these dudes who are just so jacked and ripped and you're just like, oh, what the fuck am I doing, you know, like, this is so, you know. There's so many, there's like, you know, the conventional, like, great looking, like, busty woman, you know, jacked guy. And then if you don't fit into that, you start to get really insecure. But then after you sort of s sit in this industry for a while, you realize that they're not always looking for that kind of guy. And it's just best to be comfortable with who you are and, you know, be really comfortable with what you look like, be proud of your body, and then, you know, that'll show. And people will, you know, Hopefully they'll take to that. You know, don't try and change everything about yourself. You know, because you can't please everybody. Cause you can't please everybody all the you time. Drive crazy. You will. You will. I'm. You know, I imagine people around the world are driving themselves crazy right now, trying to you know fit into you know jeans that are one size too big or something. You know, starving themselves or whatever. You know, and there's there's obviously going to be that that aspect everywhere. I think there's also a lot of uh, a lot of negative. Um, you know, hearsay and whatnot thrown on people who are sometimes you know these people are just naturally skinny, and people are like, oh, you know, like you starve yourself. Oh, you probably don't eat anything. Oh, you better not have that chocolate bar. You know, blah blah blah. It's like, listen, you know, I know what I can eat. I know what I can't eat. You just don't don't ride me because, you know, I have this model thing tagged onto my name. It doesn't mean I'm not able to have a good time. But at the same time, don't hate on me when I, you know when you go out for McDonald's at four in the morning and I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm okay, you know, yeah. I don't need that.